Hi folks, Blake here and I'm back with another weekly YouTube video. Now this one is going to be a vlog, so in case you don't follow me on social media, over the last few weeks I've been doing quite a lot of busking, so I've played in London and I've played in Hitchin and I've played in another local town as well in Biggleswade. I've really enjoyed it, I've made a decent amount of money actually and got some great feedback from the audience and I've been using this so this is a contactless card reader um, and I've had quite a few questions from other musicians and similar people like that asking how does it work, how do you set it up and kind of how do you use it when busking. So I wanted to do a little kind of Q&A review of using a contactless card reader for a street performer. Okay, so this is the one I've got. It's the iZettle 2 reader. Um, the reason I actually got this one is because I started busking with Busk in London and as a result of the Covid pandemic they actually required you to take contactless payments because it was a bit dodgy in terms of accepting money from people so you had to be willing to get a contactless reader. Um, so I ordered this one, it came really quick, it came within about a few days or so. It's very easy to set up so you put in kind of your details and it requires an internet connection and a Bluetooth connection. So you use your phone, you set up a free iZettle app and you can put your information in there and then you can set up a payment. So I put it for a pound and I just called it whatever, like busking pay jar or whatever you want to call it. There is one thing that I need to mention which is quite important. So for this reader specifically, it's very useful, but if you want to set up repeat payments, in other words, people scan their card and then it goes off and then the payment comes on again for the next person, you have to get in touch with the company. So if you do get an iZettle reader, and I'll put a link to the company and the website in the description below, then make sure to get in touch with them a few days before you go busking so that they can update your app and set up repeat payments. Now obviously there's lots and lots of card readers out there, I'm just talking about this one because it was the one that I was advised to get and I know it works for buskers so feel free to have a shop around if it's something you really want. One thing I'll mention that's definitely worth thinking about is the battery life of these things. So what I found was if I'm playing for a couple of hours and I've got the card reader constantly on and it's set up for repeat payments, all of the time that's draining the battery so what you really need is to plug it into like via USB usually to like a little energy storage device so like what you use for your phone for like extended battery and that should last for a few hours so definitely worth doing that if you're looking to play for a few hours and get busking tips for that long as well. Now a reasonable question might be do you need a card reader? Obviously the answer is you don't need one so as I mentioned, if you're doing the Busk in London thing and you're playing in the capital, then a basis for them accepting you onto the program is that you have one of the card readers before you busk anywhere. But generally speaking, I'll say that over the last few weeks, I've received many more tips from coins and things like that than from actually contactless payment. However, I have received some payments through it. So obviously not everyone carries cash around, especially kind of in this day and age, it's much more common to carry a card or your phone or whatever you can pay with. And if you have that kind of system set up, it's very easy for someone to just come along, scan it and that's it. And it's really easy to do. So how do you kind of present this when you're playing? I've done this in two separate ways. So one way is I've kind of had it present within my guitar case, which sometimes works, but obviously it's quite low down. People have got to kind of stoop down to do it, which is not ideal. But what I actually found to be the easiest way um, for people to see the contactless payment and be willing to pay you and kind of it be very simple for them is on your mic stand, you can actually get an adjustable kind of uh, clip, which is kind of built for putting your phone in, but you can use it for the contactless reader as well literally just slips in there and when it's on people can just come by and scan and that's it. So again I'll put a link in the description for where I found this on Amazon. It's a really cheap one and really useful for setting up contactless payments if you're busking out in public. One little word of warning which is that some people react to contactless payments differently. Some people are very happy about it and they think oh that's very cool they're accepting contactless. Other people are very unhappy about it and think maybe you're over prepared or you're, you know, fleecing them or whatever. So just bear that in mind. Um, most of the experience I had was very good, but you do get one or two kind of naysayers. So bear that in mind if you're gonna go busking with contactless and also think about where you're playing. If you're playing in somewhere which is kind of 
much more upmarket or like central London or whatever, then it's kind of a much more common sight maybe. Okay, so very quickly, I'm just gonna show you how the contactless works. So we turn it on here, it's charging at the moment because I've used it a lot recently. We just go on our phone and you do need an internet connection, but 4G is fine, I should say. You turn your Bluetooth on and then you need to find your device. So we need our Zettel Go app. So we click on Zettel Go here. And once it opens up, so once the app opens up, we then go on and link to our payment. So if we click on settings here, and go on card readers, then we can see you choose which one you want and it says one reader detected, look on Zettel Reader 2, that's the one I've got. So if I click on that and it does a pairing thing. So if I click the number here, it'll say connect into card reader and then hopefully it'll show the same series of numbers on the card reader as it shows on the phone. So once you've done that, your connection is paired up and it says confirm the code matches by clicking the green button. So on here you click the green button just to confirm, yes, that is my phone and that's it, you're connected. So you say please wait, hello and then at this point you can set up your payment. Okay so to actually accept tips what you do then is you click on this sell button here and you can set up a payment system so you can see I've chosen one which is music tip jar and charging a pound and if I click on that it'll add it to the car and then if I press charge one pound it'll just charge once but if I click this little repeat pay button and again you need to message the contact us on the website to set this up you click this it will be set up for one pound and every time anyone scans it will pay and then it will reset the payment so in order for me to pointlessly demonstrate here's me paying myself a pound and that's how easy it is and then if repeat pay is set up you'll see that once it says thank you it's set up again and if you wanted to although i won't you could pay another pound and so on and so it's very simple for buskers to set this up for repeat payment okay so thank you for watching it was a really short and sweet video i know but i just wanted to go over what it's like using a card reader as a street performer and i'd strongly recommend the iZettle one it's not a sponsored post or anything but i found it very useful and the repeat pay function is absolutely ideal for buskers i found it really useful and hopefully so will you if you enjoyed this video thanks very much please like it and leave a comment to let me know what you want to know next i do stuff like this but i also do covers i do originals i do guitar lessons loads and loads of stuff and i try to do a video about once every week so if you did enjoy the content i'd really appreciate you clicking the little subscribe and notification bell buttons and i'll keep you informed on everything related to local music performing and what's going on thanks very much take care of yourself and i'll see you next time I wouldn't have waited so long for a kiss I might have missed She wears dark on her feet